Hey, we're back again with another episode of Field Fox Fundamentals. And as you guessed it, today we're talking about another Field Fox application. What, text messaging? Well, that's actually associated with this application, and that is IRTA. So to begin, I want you to imagine that you are trying to measure the loss associated with a really long cable. And I mean a long cable, something, something hefty like that. And this cable is, it's going along the inside of a submarine, one end to the other, and you want to measure that loss. Now it's going to be difficult to bring those ends together and do a traditional S21 measurement. So with two field foxes, we can make an IRTA measurement, which stands for Extended Range Transmission Analysis. And this essentially performs a two-port measurement, usually scalar gain or loss for your RF DUT. And essentially you have one field fox configured as the source, another configured as the receiver, and the two field foxes use hardware triggering to synchronize and make their measurement. So yeah, let's, uh, let's give this a shot. We're gonna first go to mode, then IRTA, and then our measurement setup. We see a nice green button there called Connection Wizard. We're gonna click on that, and it brings us to a nice start page. We'll press start, our DUT is connected, and our triggers are also connected. They're on top of the field fox. We'll press continue. Choose our IRTA partner. That's chosen. We'll press continue once again, and then we're going to test that partnership. Now we see three green checks. That means we're good to go. And then we're gonna press continue again. We can measure jumper cables if we were using them. We're not using jumper cables. We just have our DUT connected, so we're gonna skip this step press continue, and then done. And then it's important to note that we have to press lead IRTA partnership to get things going. We also might want to note that this is all done from the receiver side. So that's important to remember. But now that we have everything set up, we can start making our measurements. So we're going to measure, we can check out our input power, our output power, and our gain or loss. We can see that at around nine gigahertz, this cable really starts to have a roll off in the power. It's expected because it's a long cable, so higher frequencies are gonna be attenuated a lot more. And one more important thing to notice is we actually have a power splitter attached to the source end of this configuration, and that is to help account for any drift that we might experience while making the measurement. And so now that we're all set up, I can send David a text message saying we are good to go to make our measurement. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so we've left you some things down in the description to check out, uh, different links. And as always, you can like, comment, and subscribe. We're really excited to see that, and we hope you join us next time on Field Fox Fundamentals.